Hi, today's topic PVC pipe or flute. Let's call it the flute. It's going to be not any existing flute type. So I'm going to start with start the video with um, this um, piece of PVC pipe. It's about right length, and this piece, which is um, the widener for our mouthpiece. Just going to use the edge of this small file to kind of scratch them clean. I don't know if that helps. I also rounded this edge a bit because it's hard to do when this is on its place. So it's ready for action. And um, I'll give this a little bit of sandpaper here in inside because uh, next I'm going to glue it on this body Okay, got it there, and <laughs> that's why I always have to be very quick with that because it's already so well stuck that I couldn't even get this off. Even if I tried, I could hammer it, I would have to break the whole, whole damn pipe to get it off. But it's a good, good glue. That's where we are now. Finish that with file or a couple of files.
take the tuning with her. C sharp. So that means okay, that's the embouchure end. We're gonna have to now start shortening the pipe, shortening the pipe um, enough to reach D note. So that is up next. many times as I have to uh, to make the root note, make the pipe play in D, D note and um, when that's done that's that's the time to start marking the finger holes based on calculations. I'll show you those in, in the end of the video. Okay <clears throat> it's now in the <clears throat> indeed indeed okay all right since the root note is now d just gonna clean this end and this one this embouchure end is finished. I'm gonna uh, go after cleaning this end I'm just gonna go mark the finger hole locations. And there they are. test the tuning. It should all be flat now.
then I just gonna um, keep on making this making these finger holes larger bit by bit to tune them in the right pitch, right note. Okay. tuning but not much to start with this Test. <clears throat> Tested it now, and um, they're all flat a bit. So I'm just going kind of all holes with one go. I would recommend for anybody who's not that experienced to just to just um, uh, drill one hole at a time and tune it, and then move on to the next one. Um, this is the way I do, but I would recommend going making and tuning one hole at a time from the low, lowest to the highest obviously. I just wanted to mention this in the case somebody wonders what I'm what I'm doing that I'm going kind of through all the holes once.
I skipped a couple of holes. If you, I, I don't know if you noticed, but I skipped these two uh, because they were close enough. And tuning the rest of these, they also affect when you go higher. It affects that way from here to here. If I tune this, it affects mostly this, a little bit of this, a little less this, but it affects basically all these. So again, I'm uh, going to clean these holes um, and I'm going to test it and I'm going to keep going, making it bigger uh, as a, I mean until I have the entire flute in tune. So I'm still, still tuning, I'm, I've uh, I've gone through these holes, holes for about four or five times, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm still going to have to go probably once or twice. So very, very fine adjustments, making them bigger. Finally. in tune. show you that uh, doing it with the straight grinder as well <laughs> many bits or heads oh, okay alrighty so I'm gonna use I'm 
going to use this straight liner head to round the finger hole edges. clean which is not now then it can be decorated painted and so on I'll show you that later I'm probably gonna play this for play this for a, play this instrument for a couple of days to make sure it doesn't need any more adjustments to for tuning and then I'm going to decorate it. So that's it for now. Okay. <laughs> 